The full moon in Virgo. Time to start from where you are in this present moment and move forward with optimism and confidence. Hello, beautiful people. Life can be a challenge, but at least we have each other. Yes, the full moon in Virgo energy begins on February 24th. So in the first part of this video, I'm going to go over the three things that everyone should know about this full moon. Then I will go over how it will affect your individual sign. Okay, no more wasting time. Let's go. The full moon in Virgo takes place on Saturday, February 24th at 12.30 p.m. Universal Time, which will be at 4.30 a.m. Pacific Time, 7.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and for those of you in the Southern Hemisphere, this will be at 11.30 p.m. in Sydney, Australia, and 2.30 p.m. in Johannesburg, South Africa. So let's jump right into the three things you need to know in order to make the most of this energetic opening. Number one. This full moon will bring the powerful energy of the number six and the magical tarot energy of the hermit card. The number six in numerology represents unconditional love and the ability to support, nurture, and heal. And this full moon is much less about the unconditional love for someone else and so much more about the unconditional love you have for yourself. We know Virgo brings the energy of the perfectionist and we all know living in this world as human beings that nothing and no one is perfect. Striving to be the best that you can be is an absolutely wonderful thing. However, accepting yourself for who you are, for all that you are, and loving yourself for making it this far in life is so important at this time of year because as we come to the end of the zodiac cycle with Pisces season and approach the start of the astrological year when Aries season comes along, you want to start this next chapter having confidence in yourself, having confidence in what you are capable of, knowing that you can truly create a life of fulfillment this year, but also knowing that the only way you are going to be able to do that is if you release any judgment that you have for your yourself. Release any regret about past actions or past choices and accept yourself for who you are right now and love yourself for who you are right now and give yourself the permission to be happy. This way you can move forward without the weight of any negative energy weighing you down. And the Hermit card represents an energetic opening where you are meant to take a break, go within, and tend to your needs emotionally, physically, and spiritually so you can step out on the other side of this full moon energy renewed and ready to step into your power. Number two. This full moon will be forming a challenging aspect with Mercury in Pisces, a positive aspect with Jupiter in Taurus, and a challenging aspect with Saturn in Pisces. The moon's relationship with Mercury, the planet of communication and learning, will lend to difficulty understanding your emotions. So if you find yourself uncertain about how you feel, do your best not to get frustrated. Just know that this is part of the process when it comes to defining what it is that you not only want in your life right now, but what it is that you need. Uncertainty is the path to clarity because the questions that come up for you leading up to and during this full moon energy are necessary because they will bring you the opportunity to focus on answering those questions and the answers to those questions will then inform what your next steps should be in order to put you on the right path. And the moon's relationship with Jupiter, the planet of good luck, expansion, growth and prosperity will lend to heightened intuition and an increased likelihood of making new friends with genuine, honest, and even influential people. So Jupiter will be working well with Mercury because Mercury is going to inspire you to ask those necessary questions regarding your life situation, and Jupiter will bring the intuitive insight to assist you in answering those questions. And in addition to that, the Jupiter moon aspect really heightens the probability of you bringing someone into your life that could really play a very positive role when it comes to giving you the support that you require in order to step on that right path and make major headway when it comes to manifesting your goals into reality. And the moon's relationship with Saturn, the planet of responsibility and life lessons, will tempt you to feel sorry for yourself and focus on your problems as opposed to solutions, which is the perfect opportunity to tap into your power of choice. You can choose where to focus your energy Energy, and you can choose how to interpret your life situation and you can choose how to interpret yourself and what you're capable of which leads me to number three the full moon in Virgo will be working with the sun in Pisces, urging you to embrace your imperfections. Every person on the planet has them, and when appreciated, they can become the very thing that leads you to fulfillment. By loving yourself for all that you are, you can release the need to control, to control how you are perceived, to control outcomes. So use this energetic opening of the full moon in Virgo to continue to grow and strive to be the best you can be, but without wasting time on self-judgment or regret. Start from where you are right now, and move forward with optimism, confidence, and excitement for what lies ahead.
Now let's jump into what this full moon will mean for your individual sign. Okay, my powerful Aries, full moon energy is going to be in your sixth house. So Aries, if you have been feeling physically sluggish, or if you just know that there is an unhealthy habit that you've been avoiding dealing with, now is the time to really deal with it. Now is the time to really pay attention to your health mentally, physically, and emotionally. If you don't tend to this now, this could be the time where this really starts to take a turn and become much more of a problem. Conversely, if you have been working hard and tending to your health, this full moon will mark an energetic opening where you really start to feel amazing and you start to see the results of all your hard work. This sixth house energy could also relate to you professionally. If there's something that you've been avoiding regarding work, this issue could amplify during this time, or if there's something recently that you've been working on and giving the focus that it needs, you may find that you could see a major push forward in terms of positive results regarding this project. Now, if by chance you have been unhappy with your job, this could be a time where you decide to quit. But if you do, just make sure that you have a clear plan of what your next steps are gonna be so that way you don't find yourself feeling lost or even more frustrated with life. Also, if you've been looking for a job, this full moon could indicate a time where you find exactly what it is that you're looking for. So overall, Aries, this full moon energy marks the start of a two week period where there's gonna be major change taking place regarding your health and regarding your daily habits and some positive changes when it comes to your work situation. So that way, these areas of your life Life will not be a source of stress, they will be a source of confidence and strength as you prepare for your season, which is approaching very quickly. So embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon Aries. Okay, my powerful Taurus, this full moon energy is going to be in your fifth house. So Taurus, this is a very crucial time for you. If you've been on the fence or confused at all about what it is that you truly want, either regarding a relationship, more than likely a romantic relationship, or when it comes to what you want professionally, or just in terms of what direction you want your life to go in. This full moon in your fifth house is just the energy you need to assist you in coming to a clear, concise, and confident conclusion. You will do very well to do a daily meditation practice where you start the practice with a question by asking, what is it that you want? in a certain area of your life. Then start the meditation with the intention of quieting your mind, rising above the mental noise of everyday life, so that way you can receive the answer to the question or questions that you may have asked. Now, if you have been in a challenging romantic relationship, this could be the time where you end it once and for all. Or if you've been casually dating someone, this could be a time where you take it to the next level of commitment, which is very exciting. Also, if you've been wanting to manifest love or a romantic relationship, this could also be the time where if there is someone that you've been interested in, you could get a clear yes or no in terms of whether or not they are feeling the same way and interested in you as well. Also, if you've been working on a creative project for a while, this fifth house energy could be a time where you finish what it is that you've been working on and you are ready to send it out into the world and just know that this fifth house full moon energy does indicate a high likelihood of that creative project being successful. Also, if you are involved in social media as a creator, this could be a time where you get a surge to your following, which is also exciting. So overall, Taurus, this full moon energy is a time to really listen to your heart. Forget about the judgments and limitations of society and really tap into what it is that you truly desire. Remember, life is meant to be experienced and you are meant to enjoy the process. So now is the time to make the necessary changes to make sure that you are doing exactly that. So embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon Taurus. Okay, my powerful Geminis, this full moon energy is going to be in your fourth house. So Gemini, if your home situation is at all a source of stress, this is going to be the time where the stress is going to be amplified. So that way you can make sure that you're making the necessary changes in order to resolve the root cause of the stress. This may be you having a romantic situation at home where there's some sort of conflict because you may be living with your significant other and the two of you have been going at it. This could be a family member if you still live at home. Whatever the case may be for you, this is the time of year where you are meant to really understand just how important the energy of your home base is. If you wake up in a place that doesn't feel supportive, 
that doesn't offer you the comfort for you to feel energized, that doesn't allow you the environment to retreat from the chaos of the world and recharge your battery, if your home base doesn't tick those boxes, then this makes it that much more difficult for you to go out into the world as your best self and deal with the challenges that the world brings your way, or even to capitalize on the blessings that the world will bring to you because your energy will be off. So make it a priority to resolve whatever is going on at home for you. Resolution could come in the form of moving. It could come in the form of you just deciding to restructure or redecorate, or it could come in the form of you having difficult but necessary conversations with someone that you live with. Now, if a conversation is necessary, make sure that you do not approach it with blame or by complaining about the person and their behavior. Instead, approach the person with the intention of sharing with them the things that you would like to take place in order for the space to feel more comfortable for you, and then ask them if they are willing to be a part of those changes. If they meet you with resistance, just ask them, what are you willing to do? If you're not willing to do what I'm asking you, what are you willing to do? And then treat the conversation as more of a negotiation as opposed to an argument. That way you won't get off track arguing with someone about who is right and who is wrong or who's worse in the situation. And instead you can stay focused on the proposed solution. So overall, Gemini, this full moon is going to be an excellent opportunity for you to tend to any area of your home life that you're dissatisfied with, with a high likelihood of resolution, this way you can step into the beginning of the astrological year with a renewed sense of support and peace when it comes to your home base, which will only play a role in making the likelihood of your success this year higher because you will have that home base that is supportive and that's a place to regroup and recharge when necessary. So embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon in Gemini. Okay, my powerful Cancerians, this full moon energy is going to be in your third house. So Cancers, this is going to be a time of handling responsibilities. And don't get stressed out when I say that. This is an opportunity, not a sentencing. You may find that a certain document needs to be reviewed and signed during this time. This is tax season, so this may be the time that you tend to those responsibilities. You may have been putting off cleaning your space up at home, or you may have been putting off learning a new skill or honing a skill that you already have that you know would be extremely helpful in terms of your career, and you decide that now is the time to dive into that and learn that or hone that skill. Basically, this is the time to tie up loose ends and tend to any lingering unfinished business that you might have going on. The third house is ruled by Gemini, and you know how Geminis seem to be having a million different things going on at, at one single time, and sometimes they have difficulty finishing half of those things or seeing them through to completion? Well, the third house is reminding you that this is your time an energetic opening, basically the two weeks from the height of the full moon until the new moon, when the new moon in Pisces comes along, that two week period is a time where you are meant to tend to whatever you need to tend to when it comes to the little details and responsibilities that you have. So that way when that new moon in Pisces does come along, you will feel accomplished, you will feel in the flow, and you will have a general feeling of peace and excitement because you won't have any lingering responsibilities weighing you down. This is going to assist you in moving forward and having the time and confidence to be your best self as you move into the start of the astrological year. This full moon could also relate to new social and business connections, where you may have to take a short trip to finalize some business dealings, or there may even be a new friend or two that you may spend more time with where you deepen that relationship and connection. Overall, this full moon in Virgo in your third house, Cancers, is a time to bring the vision that you have for your life into a clearer focus, where you clean out any clutter by handling anything that needs to be handled, and as a result, with that clutter gone, you will more clearly see what your priorities are meant to be, and you will be able to more clearly see who you want as part of your team moving forward. So a very exciting time, Cancer, where some work will be involved, but you will feel so good when you complete that work because with each task completed, a little more weight will be lifted leaving you feeling lighter, motivated, and ready for what the rest of 2024 has to offer. So embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon cancers. Okay, my powerful Leos, this full moon energy is going to be in your second house. So Leos, this is going to mark a time where you will gain clarity on how you can increase your income. This will be an opening in terms of your relationship with abundance and financial wealth. 
If you feel like you have been facing financial challenges lately, which most people have, but specifically if you find that you have been focusing on lack or if you know your mindset or belief system around money is more a tone of frustration because you may feel lack, now is the time to shift that focus to your relationship with wealth. And even if what I just described is not you, maybe your mindset around money isn't focused on lack or judgment. This can still be a great time to make sure that the way you see money is as energy. Everything in existence is made up of energy, including money. So if you see money as an energy that you can either attract or repel, then you can begin to make sure that your personal relationship with money is one where you are excited to attract as much of it as possible. Not with the motivation of greed, but with a motivation to share and have as much freedom as you possibly can to do the things that you want to do when you want to do them. The sun will be in your eighth house, so if you're in a relationship, the issue of money may come up and just know that this full moon is the perfect time to have a conversation around how the two of you want to handle money within the relationship and make sure that the goal is to come to a conclusion of how you want to handle it that's going to make both of you excited in this area of the relationship. Also know that whether you are single or in a relationship, this focus of your relationship with abundance and financial wealth will all be rooted in the dynamic of give and take. Do you receive as much as you give in your relationship? Or are you the type who gives much more than you're receiving? Do you feel worthy? Do you feel comfortable receiving? These are questions that are important to ask yourself so that way you know how you can create more of a balance in that area. Because the more the balance of give and take is in a healthy place, the more your relationship with abundance and financial wealth is going to flourish this year, Leo. So use this time as a time of clarity and a time of excitement in terms of you being able to focus on getting your relationship with the material world, the energy of money, and the dynamic of give and take in a healthy place so that way when Aries season and the start of the astrological year come along, you will be in the perfect position to really flourish. So embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon Leos. Okay, my powerful Virgos, the full moon energy is going to be in your first house. So Virgos, this is your time for clarity on who you are at this point in your life, what you want at this point in your life, and how you are going to go about bringing that vision that you have for yourself into reality. Now the sun is going to be in your seventh house during this full moon, so this may be a time where you will either decide to take a relationship to the next level or where you decide to end a certain relationship, but this will all be in support of what you know is best for you because this full moon is focused on the relationship that you have with yourself. This will be the time where if you are too hard on yourself or too critical with yourself, this will be amplified and revealed so that way you can begin to shift your focus from self-judgment to self-acceptance. It is a beautiful thing, Virgo, that you have high standards and you hold yourself to those high standards, but it is very important to make sure that you don't find yourself constantly focusing on what might be wrong with something or what might be wrong with yourself or what you think might be wrong with yourself. This will be the full moon where you can make the major shift in how you process your thoughts. If there is something that you wanna improve, identify the solution, how you intend to improve it and stay grounded in the excitement of executing the solution. Make sure to spend as little time as possible on the past and as little time as possible on regret. And actually don't spend any time on regret because all of your power is in the present moment and no sign can benefit from this full moon more than you can Virgo because by you making the choice to no longer give an abundance of your energy where there is lack or frustration and instead focus all of your energy on the excitement of what you can change and how you can change it, this will increase your ability to manifest immensely because your vibration is going to raise simply from you feeling the excitement of the possibilities in your life and the optimism around those possibilities. So now is the time to step into 2024 and the version of yourself for this new cycle of life where you genuinely leave any thought processes, any relationships, any regrets, any unnecessary judgment or overanalyzing of the past in the past. And then give all of your energy to knowing your strengths, to building upon those strengths, remaining excited about the possibilities, and don't focus on why something won't work 
or the odds of whether it will work or not. And when you get clear on what it is that you do want, make sure that you do not start focusing on why it might not work out or what the odds of it working out or not working out are. Focus on what you want the outcome to be and trust that you will get there and enjoy the process of getting there, Virgo. Life is meant to be lived and you are meant to enjoy the process, but you have to make a shift in where you focus your energy and where you allow your line of thinking to go. So now is the time, Virgo, to make that major change, to make that positive change, that exciting change. So embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon, Virgos. Okay, my powerful Libras, this full moon energy is going to be in your 12th house. So Libra, this full moon is going to be the most spiritually transformative for you because the 12th house brings a time period where you are meant to allow yourself a mental break from the chaos of the outside world. Allow yourself as much downtime and alone time as possible to really process where this year has taken you so far so you can assess where you want to make sure to affect change. Pisces season is in your sixth house, so you are really meant to focus on your health. And this 12th house is an opening that will support you in emotionally and mentally healing, which will allow your spiritual energy to shine through and really thrive. This is the time to process sadness, frustration, anger, fear, whatever you may have been feeling recently and up until this point, this is the time to make sure you are not judging yourself for feeling those things and instead allow yourself the space to accept that you needed to feel those things at the time in order to process them. But you are also now ready to release all of that energy so you can begin to heal and make space for all of the blessings that 2024 has in store for you. This is a year where you can really gain some momentum with your manifesting so where you are emotionally you know can have a major effect on your vibration and you know your vibration is really what acts as a magnet to bring in the experiences that match that vibration so the more you can use this full moon to truly release any narratives that you know hold you back and bring you down so that way you're operating more in acceptance and more in excitement the more you will see that this year will be very different than the previous years. So if you're ready for a change, it all starts with you, Libra, which is exciting because you can rest assured that you have the power to influence what experiences you have. And the way you assert that power is by making a commitment to yourself to direct your thoughts where you want them to go. If you find yourself following old narratives that you know bring you down, don't fight those thoughts, just gently shift them to thoughts that comfort you and excite you. The 12th house brings a major opening to your subconscious mind and you know the programming of your subconscious mind is where all of this begins. So now's the opportunity to get to reprogramming. This is a great time for you to meditate, to listen to spiritual teachers, to keep a dream journal or just a daily journal to process and set intentions. Now's the time to reset and reboot Libras. This way you can step into the remainder of 2024 and the start of the astrological year with a new energy, which is very exciting. So embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon Libras. Okay, my powerful Scorpios, this full moon energy is going to be in your 11th house. So Scorpios, this is a strong complement to that fifth house energy that the sun is bringing. This will be a time where if you've been working towards a specific goal and you have done your part by keeping your mindset in a supportive, solution-oriented place and you've been consistent consistently taking action towards achieving that goal, this will be the time where you will make major headway related to that goal, which is very exciting. Also, if you've been unsure at all about exactly what it is that you want, this full moon energy will be a time where you can more clearly connect to your true desires. Once you identify what those true desires are, you can create your specific goals that support those desires for 2024. This 11th house full moon will also be a good time to establish a plan on how you intend to manifest those desires or the vision that you have for yourself into reality. Also, if there has been a friendship in your life that has been experiencing some complications, this full moon may mark the time where those complications will be amplified in order for you to address the issue which may either result in a solution and deeper connection or you may realize that this connection has run its course and it is time to let it go but you will have clarity one way or another this is also a time that if you have been feeling lonely you will do really well to get out and allow yourself to be social and have some fun Scorpio you may even have to force yourself to do so but if you do you will be glad 
that you did. Too much time is spent online and connecting through your phone or through your computer. So you will really benefit from connecting in real life with someone or even with a group of people. So if you are invited to any social gatherings during this full moon energy, during the two weeks from the full moon to the new moon, make sure that you go. It will be a good idea to attend. The full moon in the 11th house also illuminates all that is hidden. So if you have been keeping a secret of some sort, or if someone has been keeping a secret from you, Scorpio, this will be revealed during this full moon energy, which could mean anywhere from February 24th to March 10th, when the new moon in Pisces comes along. So keep your awareness heightened for that sort of information to be revealed. So overall, Scorpio, just know that this full moon energy is intense, but very positive for you. So whatever comes up during this time, know that it is somehow in your soul's best interest. And even if it doesn't feel beneficial in the present moment, in the big picture, it is, which is very exciting. So embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon Scorpios. Okay, my powerful Sagittarians, this full moon energy is going to be in your 10th house. So if there's a work project that you've been waiting on, whether it be a deal that you've been waiting to be finished or you went on a job interview and you're waiting for an answer or you've been looking for a job, this full moon in Virgo in your 10th house will be a time where you will get clarity, meaning the green light to move forward or a definitive answer from the job interview or you will find exactly what it is that you've been looking for. Just know that this energy is indicating positive motion in the right direction for you when it comes to work and how the public sees you. If you're already in a job that you like, this could mean a time where new opportunities come along. If you own your own business, this could mark a time of financial flow and abundance, which is a very exciting and something that we all could use right now. So make sure to capitalize on that energy. Also, if you've been looking for the right time to ask for a raise or promotion at your job, this could be the perfect time, Sagittarius. If you've been having an issue with someone at work, just know that this issue may be magnified during this time, but this is in order to give you the opportunity to resolve the situation. So make sure that you do address it. Also make sure to address it in a way that is solution oriented. Do not approach the person with a complaint or a judgment or placing blame on them. Approach them more with a request or an idea of how things can be more productive and you will find that the outcome will be much more favorable. You do want to address it though, because otherwise it will just get worse. This is absolutely not one of those situations where if you ignore the circumstances, it will just go away. This may also be a time where you are asked to take on more opportunity at work. So step into that leadership position because you know you are capable of it, Sagittarius. If this does happen, just embrace the opportunity because it's going to prove to be very beneficial moving forward. So overall, Sagittarius, this is your time to focus on your career and how you are seen by the public. So accept the exciting challenge, step into the opportunity, put your best foot forward because this will set you up to have a major momentum of advancement when it comes to Aries season, because when Aries season does come along, that's gonna be a very exciting excellent time for you. So embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon Sagittarius. Okay, my powerful Capricorns, this full moon energy is going to be in your ninth house. So Capricorn, we all know life ebbs and flows. There are ups and there are downs. So it is very important to take advantage of those ups and enjoy those ups and utilize those ups for all that they can be. So that way when the downs come along, they will not hit quite as hard because you have counterbalanced them by the productive use of the up cycles. And this full moon in Virgo is an up cycle for you. So take advantage of it. By this, I mean, this is a time to expand your way of thinking. You know, as a Capricorn, in order for life to change, something that is affecting life must make a major change. And the one thing that you have the most power over that can have a huge effect on your life and how it unfolds is your belief system, your thought process, how you process the world around you because your belief system is at the root of your choices and your choices are at the root of the outcomes in your life. So if there is any area of your life where you want to see major change, don't waste one second on why it is the way that it is you have established that you want that area of your life to change. So all you need to do now is focus on how you can change your belief system and your perspective in order to create a different outcome. Here's an example. If you're single and you're looking for love and you've been frustrated with the outcomes in that area, start with how you see relationships. 
with how you see yourself in relationships and then establish what needs to change regarding that perspective in order for you to approach relationships differently. What I love about Capricorns is their willingness to take responsibility. So take responsibility for the part that you can play in creating a new dynamic between you and whatever area it is that you would like to change in your life. Ignite the adventurous side of yourself, Capricorn. Step out of the box a bit, take some risks, do things a bit differently, and you will see some movement in the right direction. A full moon illuminates the unseen. It brings you a clarity and an insight that you may have missed. So this is the perfect time to establish exactly what it is that you want for 2024. Release any doubt around it. Release any frustration about the past. Release any regrets and self-defeating thoughts that you may have had up until this point and reboot, reset, allow your optimism to lead. Your belief that anything is possible, allow that to lead. The ninth house is ruled by Sagittarius, so although this full moon is in Virgo, this is a time to implement some Sagittarian, the sky is the limit type perspective. So just know that the two weeks from February 24th to March 10th is a time to make that shift in perspective because this is what will set you up to have a very different outcome with 2024 relative to the outcomes in 2023. The power is in your very capable Capricorn hands. So embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon Capricorn. Okay, my powerful Aquarians, this full moon energy is going to be in your eighth house. So Aquarius, this full moon is going to be very important for you because the eighth house is an all or nothing type energy. It's an energy of death and regeneration. So this is definitely going to be a time of major endings that will give way to incredible new exciting beginnings so for you this could mean the ending of a relationship that you've been having trouble with and this could be a romantic relationship a friendship this could also be a business relationship and when i say ending i don't mean that the relationship has to be completely over in some cases it might mean that but what this definitely means is that the way that the relationship has been operating that has to come to an end things must change and majorly change within the relationship if the relationship is going to continue so be ready and be strong because loving yourself enough to do what might be difficult, but to do what is right, that will be the theme for this full moon. Now, the eighth house is ruled by Scorpio, and because of this, the full moon in Virgo is actually the perfect time where if there is a habit that you want to end, now's the time to end it. Doing so during this time will have the highest likelihood of success. Also, if there's a new habit that you want to start and implement into your life, this is a great time to start that new habit with the certainty that by March 10th, when the new moon comes along, you will be well on your way to making this habit a consistent part of your life. If you have a therapy session scheduled during this full moon energy, this heightens the likelihood of having a break through this will be an excellent time for a meditation practice for consistent prayer for journaling yoga whatever your go-to spiritual practice is now is the time to really be consistent with it because the benefits will be plenty anything that you have been carrying around because of the people in your life or because of those relationships that will be magnified during the eighth house transit so this will be the time to release that baggage it is not yours you don't need to release the people necessarily but release the baggage that comes along with them this is also also a time where your debt may come into focus, meaning paying off debt, making a budget for yourself to do so, and any hidden expenses, those could come to light. And don't let this scare you, this is just so you can have a clear perspective on the best way to get to the other side and step into financial freedom in 2024. So it's better to see it all now at the beginning of the year than it would be to see it later in the year. So Aquarius, this is an intense full moon for you, but an incredible opportunity to truly make some necessary changes by accepting the endings that need to take place. So that way you can see the beginning of the astrological year when Aries season comes along as a true new beginning. So use this full moon to clean house, no more clutter. This means in your physical, material world. This means in your mental space. This means in your emotional and spiritual world as well. And you will come out on the other side of this full moon energy ready to hit the ground running. So embrace this energetic opening and happy full moon Aquarius. Okay, my powerful Pisces, this full moon energy is going to be in your seventh house. So Pisces, whether you like it or not, <laughs> this full moon is going to be about relationships for you. I know 
This is supposed to be your season where you are focused on you, your rebirth, what you want, and how you want to manifest it all into reality. And here comes this full moon in Virgo to bring up relationships. So instead of resisting it, I'm here to help you make the most of it. So here we go. Let's start with those of you that are already in a relationship. If that is you, this is a full moon to make some changes. By that I mean if any conflict comes up for you with your significant other, instead of getting frustrated with them and how they handle things, Focus on how the two of you can operate as a team to make the situation better. You are great as part of a team, Pisces. You are great at bringing out the best in other people when you want to. So implement that part of your personality into your relationship. Instead of judging the person that you're with, even if they deserve the judgment. <laughs> and if your judgments are correct, recognize that judgment is not a connecting or solution-oriented behavior. And see it as an opportunity to work as a team. Start from where the two of you are right now and then focus on how you both can work together to make the situation better in a way that both of you find peace with the circumstances. This will not only help you to deepen your bond, but it will also set you up to no longer have the stress and heaviness of a complicated relationship weighing you down, especially during your rebirth season. Now, for those of you that are single, if you are happy being single and loving life, fantastic. This is a time to deepen the relationship with yourself and keep living your best life. For those of you that are single and looking for love, this can actually be a time where the energy is heightened when it comes to meeting someone new, which is very exciting. But more importantly, because this is taking place during your rebirth season, this is an opportunity to reset the way that you see yourself in relationships and the way that you see relationships in general. Take the lessons that you have learned from the past, but make sure that you release any of the resentment, the pain, frustration, or fear that those past circumstances may have created in your life. Allow yourself to believe in love. Allow yourself to believe that you are worthy of love, that you will manifest love and a love that can be supportive, enriching, exciting, and fulfilling. It absolutely is possible, but it all starts with your perspective and what you believe is possible because your belief system is what inspires your actions and your actions are what create your reality. So this is an opportunity to reboot your perspective, Pisces, where from this point on, you will step into the beginning of the astrological year with a new lens of perspective when it comes to love, when it comes to loving yourself, and when it comes to loving your relationship if you are in one. And by that I mean loving the person more deeply that you are in a relationship with, and if you are single, loving the possibility of manifesting the relationship that you know you desire and deserve. So embrace this energetic opening Pisces and happy full moon. Okay, so there you have it. The top three things you need to know about this full moon in Virgo, along with some insight into how your sign can make the most of this full moon energy. I really hope you all enjoyed the information. If you did, please don't forget the baby tap. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. If you haven't become a member yet, maybe consider doing that as well. Thank you all so much for taking the time to come and hang out with me. I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video.